welcome to today's episode of the Balanced Approach Podcast. I'm your host, Louis Pady, and hope you're doing well and enjoying these podcast episodes so far. These episodes are released every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so be sure to subscribe wherever you're listening to be kept up to date. So in today's episode, we'll be covering if you can spot reduce fat. In particular, do our exercises and programs like six minute abs actually work on reducing belly or tummy fat? Now, I'm probably not alone in saying that I've tried ab exercise in the past and programs believing or crossing my fingers and hoping that they would give me that sculpted abs look. Just like the guy on the packet or the sales page advertising, because obviously the only reason the man or woman on the product would be endorsing it is because they've used it and want to share it with the world, not because they're getting paid lots of money to do so. Now, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but the research in this area doesn't look good. There was one study that was actually really interesting, which showed that if you train one leg versus not train the other leg, actually the leg that trains will lose more fat than the other, which was pretty cool. But it was a really small study and pretty much goes against the general trend of what a lot of the research says. And also most people here aren't looking to train one leg versus not training the other. They're probably looking for their midsection, which is a common one. So there was actually one really amazing review that sort of summarized all the research in this area and looked at 22 different studies and had over 1,700 participants where they looked at using exercises such as crunches, sit-ups, leg extensions, anything core related was included in this. And the findings showed that there was no difference between doing ab exercises and not doing ab exercises, whether you lost belly fat or not. One other study actually specifically looked at the six minute ab workout and again showed no difference at all in strength of the abs but also in changes in body fat in the area. So in general the scientific literature doesn't support any of this any of these claims. When I've coached people in the past I've seen people lose weight just from their midsection. I've seen others that have just lost it all over apart from their midsection and everywhere in between. And there's lots of different factors at play with regards to their approach to their diet, their training, their lifestyle, their genetics play a huge part in that. But we know when it comes to losing body fat in general, it's about creating that calorie deficit and also developing those healthier habits around activity and around food and not just doing about about doing a few sit-ups or crunches and thinking that'll make all the difference. Now, just a point to this, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't do any core exercises. I program core for myself and a lot for my clients, and there's lots of huge benefits to overall health, well-being, and performance, but we'll probably cover those in another episode. But if you're doing ab exercises purely to lose fat in that area, your efforts will probably be better spent looking at creating a better diet or better, better sort of lifestyle and activity habits around that, creating that calorie deficit, and potentially just using the ab exercises to strengthen up your midsection and potentially if you do lose fat in that area developing more muscle will mean that it will show sooner or show quicker or show better if that's what you're looking for so to summarize this episode can't really spot reduce fat that's what the overall consensus is and when it comes to losing body fat in general probably best off spending your time looking at how can i improve my dietary habits how can i improve my activity habits and how can i improve my overall lifestyle in supporting me creating that calorie deficit and then if you want to and i'd encourage you to do some core exercises in regards to controlling sort of your crunches or planks are a really really good one as well that i regularly do that they will help you show a stronger midsection if you reduce body fat in that area which is probably the look that most people are going for so that is Thank you very much for listening to today's episode of the Balanced Approach podcast. If you have any questions, queries, or would like to reach out to me, please do. I'm at Louis Padian Nutrition, which is at L-O-U-I-S-P-A-D-I-A-N Nutrition on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and all of the the social media platforms. If you're looking for support in achieving your goals and living a healthy, happier life in the process and having a more balanced approach, click the link below and inquire about work with me. Remember to subscribe to the Balanced Approach podcast for more insightful episodes and I shall catch you on the next episode.